Hi Capricorn, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your week for October 16th to October 22nd. I have pre-shuffled these decks, so I'm just going to move them out of the way and we're going to get started. It may or may not resonate with you as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. I will zoom this in when we are done laying out the cards. Alright, so the basis of your reading is uh, the strength card, which is the sign of Leo, and it means something to do with inner strength, confidence, courage. We gotta put all of this together along with this one. It's this one is a Leo as well, so many of you may be dealing with a Leo this month or another fire sign, Aries or Sagittarius. This is also a very uh, career-oriented energy, so you may be really focusing on your your career this week. But I'm going to just get this right, and then we are going to keep going. Okay. All right. So... It looks like you guys are ready. You're ready for something. I think you're excited about something. You're ready to start something new. There's a lot of um, self-confidence this week. You're probably um, very exuberant, uh, vibrant, uh, excited, uh, taking the lead, just making a move, moving, moving, moving. I see this as being very... Uh, Focusing on your work a lot, okay? Focusing on your finances, focusing on your financial foundation. Um, there's some unnecessary drama in your life, and I'm not sure what that is caused from, but there is some unnecessary drama. Could be around resol revolving around money, okay? Um, we do have uh, probably, it looks like, some... Um, Choices or something that has happened that has led to an over expenditure of some sort that could be causing the drama. I do see um, you're probably seeking guidance, maybe from above, maybe from a counselor. Uh, there's something going on, and you know what it is. I think your intuition is high, the secret could come out. Um, and the thing is, is your intuition is so strong this week that whatever's going on in your head um, is not just a thought. It's the truth, okay? Because we have, we have the high priest and the high priestess right next to each other. So this tells me that you are very divinely connected this week. So if you are having any thoughts about anything and you're wondering about something, your thoughts are correct okay so your answer is yes if you are having some doubt about something you know you need to follow your intuition because your intuition is right on this week this seven of cups says to be careful be careful about something be careful about your choice whatever choice it is that you make because what you own owns you that is the seven of cups so you really need to think twice when you make a decision it looks like something might be might happen might happen or might be presented to you and you're gonna have to choose between tangible and intangible and you will probably um, have to use your intuition quite a bit with the in, with the decision okay because we have intuition and follow, listening to your inner God right next to this choice very strongly so you are going to probably have to go with your gut on this one and you're really going to have to choose wisely because if you don't you could have regrets because this is regrets so if something is presented to you 
and you really don't know what to do and you have some self doubts, you know, or you have some premonitions or you have this feeling, you need to go with it. Okay, because if you don't, you might have some regrets. Really listen to yourself before anybody else because you could have regrets. That's what I'm trying to say. And this card is just reiterating it. It's the chariot. It's putting yourself in the driver's seat. You're the you. Okay, it's about you putting yourself in the driver's seat, mastering your emotions, moving forward. Okay. Um... And the thing is, to follow your own beliefs, it takes strength and confidence, okay? It does, because there's opposition in every direction, okay? So this is kind of like a life experience that you are learning or gaining at the time when you are really listening to yourself and following your own path, okay? It's when you're basically accepting a dare, because this is a dare, saying, you know what? I know. I believe what I believe. I'm not going to change my mind. Okay. So I think that it leads to some satisfaction. Okay. It leads to satisfaction. But you are going to have despair before this satisfaction. You're, there's something that is going to be presented to you this week. That's what it really seriously looks like. Where you're going to be like, oh my God, what am I going to do? I'm going to have, you probably takes a minute to go within. You might need a day by yourself. Or you may even take a whole day just to think about this. Whatever is going on, you might need some time to think about this. And you might have some periods of like, oh my God, this is ridiculous. How come this is happening? Why is this happening? How am I going to deal with this? Um, you know, and you really got to make a decision about something. Do you follow your gut or do you listen to this person or do you listen to that person or do you do what they want to do or do you do what I want to do or do you do what you want to do? The chariot says that you are to put yourself in the driver's seat, move forward with your plan because they know that you took the time to focus on it. You, this is not an impulsive thing. It's not, you're not acting impulsively at all here. Okay, you're not. So you're putting yourself in the driver's seat and you're moving forward, all right? Many of you could be moving physically, okay? But I see many of you are just moving forward. You're like, you know what? We're going to do, or I'm going to do, what I want to do. I'm going to do what I know to be right, okay? Because I see, I see that, you know, it's going to take you a minute to make that decision, Okay? Because it's not going to just come like that. You're going to go through a period of, is this the right thing to do? And in the end, the answer is to follow your gut, not what somebody else is telling you to do. Okay? Um, I do see that we have uh, good luck is on the way. Good luck is right around the corner. So keep that in mind. When this, whatever it is, gets presented to you, that when the wheel of fortune comes out it means that the tide is going to turn in your favor it is all right i know that there's been some unnecessary drama or something you feel like you've been fighting a battle that you just can't win but i think that is over i do because we have the ten of swords here and this is something that is ending and this is and this is an ending as well they're completions and it's like where you hit a spot and there's nowhere's to go but up Okay, so I see that something new is right ahead of you, but you have to have the confidence and strength to stick up for yourself and to do the right thing for you. I'm going to get the next deck. The Empress card comes out to let you know that, that you will get by, okay, no matter what, that your soul is beautiful. Don't forget it, inside and out. All right, this the card comes out to let you know that it's a time of rebirth for you. All right, many of you, I mean, for some of you, it could be a pregnancy. It could be an actual birth, you know, or a pregnancy. But for many of you, it's a time of rebirth where you actually are mastering your emotions and you're feeling confident and you're feeling strength and you're feeling courage and you're ready to do something new. You're ready to do something about it. You're ready to take action. And you're ready to honor yourself, okay?
We have the Wheel of Fortune twice now. So this is fantastic. The wheel is a completion. Good luck is on its way. It is. A new chapter is right around the corner. It's just going to take a little bit of confidence and strength for you to stick up for yourself. All right? And to accept a change, okay? If you get too comfortable in a predicament and you get too comfortable and too scared and you don't want to move because it's comfortable, then things don't change. But I think things are going to change. We have the tower next to this change and next to this good luck. Something is crumbling and it is a blessing in disguise. This is a false foundation that is crumbling down. You have um, persevered long enough. You've learned a lot. You've been through a lot. You've got a lot. You've got more ex life experience than you've ever had, and now you can use that to your advantage. Use that when you're making your decision, and you have to make this choice, whatever it is. Either way, something is cr is crumbling down, and it is a blessing in disguise, and it is going to bring a little bit of chaos and change. Okay, but it's good change. All right, you're gonna have to take control. You are. We have the emperor here. There's absolutely no doubt that you are going to have to remain in control. You're going to have to take the lead. It's here pretty prominently that you're going to have to take the lead in a situation. All right. We have these regrets twice. Okay. So this is the three of swords. This is some kind of... Um, this is regrets. It's almost like a need for forgiveness. heartache you've persevered you've done everything that you can it's time to forgive and move on and let the new chapter start for many of you I think you've made some decisions that you regret and that's why that seven of cups is right above this one it is because this time when you're faced with a big choice it's really important that you listen to yourself listen to what you want so you don't have the same regrets that you had last time. This time to start a new chapter. Really follow your path. When the high priest comes out, that is one of the main meaning, meanings, is following your own path, believing in your own self, listening to your inner guide. When you ha are faced with this decision, And do not be afraid of change. I'm going to get you one of these. Oh, oh my goodness. I'm going to zoom that in for you, Capricorn. This damn camera pisses me off. I need to get another lens, but I haven't. I'm going to read it to you. Let your past go. The burden of carrying your past around has made you weary. <laughs> Don't be afraid of change, dear one. It's time to set this burden down. Keep only the lessons and the love and leave everything else behind. You don't want it or need it, and it's now gone. <laughs> Was I telling you about regrets? <laughs> you do need to let it go. You've learned a lot. Talk to you later, Capricorn. <laughs>